Diary of a Social Butterfly by Moni Mohsin Moni Mohsin is a London-living Pakistani writer. She describes herself as being from a family of educated, westernized people. She is famous for satirical and humorous columns such as The Diary of a Social Butterfly. As well as, Moni Mohsin mimics so many perspectives of daily lives through her style of writing. The Diary of a Social Butterfly released as a paperback in 2008. Her writings are mostly in the form of journals. Here are the main characters. Butterfly Khan, protagonist. Janu, her husband. Kulchu, the son of Butterfly and Janu. He is 13 years old and he is compassionate toward poors. He adore his mom and he goes to HSN. He is just like his father. The old bag consider as the mother-in-law in the novel and Grusam and Trusam are the two sister-in-law. Floozy, Mullah and Rusi are like-minded friends of Butterfly. Let's discuss the main character in detail. Butterfly Khan is a female protagonist of the novel. Butterfly loves to socialize all the time and only care about the parties, gossips and get together. She considers herself as a well-educated and most generous person on earth. No one is like her. She lives in her own sweet world, surrounded by her like-minded friends. She is married and lives in a big house. However, Butterfly has no concern with politics or literature. Her use of the language is really interesting. The second main character of the novel is Janu. Her husband. He is quiet and composed in nature. According to Butterfly, her husband is a boring creature who belongs to a backward family just opposed to her. As she is an educated elite class woman, then to her husband's metaphorically, she understands as stratospheric. He is affectionate and loves his wife. His interests are different from her, as he likes to read books newspapers, and watching documentaries. Let's move toward the summary of the novel. The summary of the novel starts with the protagonist, Butterfly Khan. She introducing herself as everyone knows her, all of the Lahore, all of the Karachi, all of Islu. Here, Islu word used for Islamabad. She implies no party, funeral, or get-together is complete without her. Introduction of her husband is Oxen. Oxen mean Oxford returned. He considered as poor and surreal. Kulchu, their son, who is about 13 or perhaps 14 and studies at HSN College. Butterfly, ironically, boasts about her being convent educated and her Kenyat college. This introduction also includes her throw and throw Lahori sophisticated family. These are some of her socialist friends, such as Uncle Kokab and Mummy. Her introduction also includes her big fat koti with a big fat garden in Gulberg and Lords of Servant. Gardeners and maid. The first entry, January 2001, when Talbans threatened to destroy all the statues, Butterfly is worried about a scandalous elopement in her group, all of Islu, even half of Dubai and London. Butterfly then mentions her boring husband, Janu, Oxford London returned, and their son. Andreas till August of 2001 mentions her attending six parties in two days, her mother-in-law having angina attack, Jonkers falling for his secretary Shumaila, Butterfly purchasing the same Jamawar shawl that her best friend wanted. September 2001 refers to Al-Qaeda attacks, New York and blows up the Twin Towers, whereas Butterfly loses her patience with Janu for hojing the TV. She says she was doing Guzara with Janu, but now 
she is thinking of divorce just because he spends whole time watching BBC and CNN. In November 2001, when NATO forces invade Afghanistan, Butterfly wonders why the invasion should dictate her social life. She wants to attend the balls and parties as usual, but her husband does not. In June 2003, 47 killed in Koita Mosque, attacked, but Butterfly rants about her neighbor's burglary incident and the course, lecturing them about wearing nighties and half slaves. She doesn't care about Pakistani circumstances and the political structure. She just loves her social life. January 2004 merely refers to 12 injured in Karachi Blast and give a detail of Butterfly Mummy, Auntie Pusi and Junkers' departure for Hajj and Butterfly's reminder to return in time for Basan Spring, as she can't wait for all the parties. Till August 2005, more trivial matters in Butterfly life take place, such as she wanted to be just like an Indian woman, to wear sari and smash coconuts against the entrance of door of every house she visits. Also she thinking about the marriage of her son. Not to mention her dirty departs, she feels betrayed and takes it out on her mother. April 2006, slightly mention of 57 dead in Karachi suicide bombing and Butterfly still plans for Kulchu's wedding. The last entry, January 2008, refers to Benazir Bhutto assassination and Butterfly's sadness for the incident. The book ends with a section named Afterwards. A detailed account of the author coming up with the idea of this light column for women readers. Precisely the book mentioned all the serious matters Pakistan had to deal with from 2001 to 2008. However, it only highlighted how the headlines affected or did not affect Butterfly's social life. If we deeply look into the novel, it is a humorous type of novel that is written in the form of journal. Throughout the story, humor is derived from constant misspellings and incorrect pronunciation. The book overall cover seven critical years in Pakistan. The main attraction of this novel is Butterfly, who is a typical aspiring socialite with her horrible English language. Mohsin mimics so many perspectives of daily life through her style of writing. The novel is amusing, but on the other side, there is no plot or story. Well, some of the major themes are shallowness of elites, self-love and selfishness, jealousy and pretense, loss of identity, husband wife relationship, relationship with in-laws. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you like the video, just hit the like button and subscribe my channel.